tournament trouble. Every year, the king held a grand tournament. All the knights wanted to win the trophy and trained hard for the event. But one year, the king was nowhere to be seen. Where is he? thought Charlie. Then the royal trumpeter announced the princess onto the stage. She said the king had dragon box, so she would be hosting the tournament instead. My events will be a little bit different, she giggled. The knights felt nervous. What did the princess mean? Then it was time for the joust. It was Charlie's best event, but he couldn't believe it when the princess swapped his lance for a fluffy feather duster. I can't win with that silly thing, thought Charlie, feeling cross. First knight to tickle their opponents until they fall to the floor laughing is the winner, announced the princess. Charlie didn't want to give up, so he did as the princess said. His first opponent was Millie, but she was so good at tickling, he started laughing straight away. That was fun, said Charlie, and the fun didn't stop there. There were custard pies instead of arrows in the archery competition. Wilbur the wizard lent them magic wands for their sword fight. They even played hide and seek with the ghosts. Everyone laughed and cheered each other on, and by the end of the day they had forgotten about winning the old events. Then time came to present the trophy. And the winner is, began the princess. You, said Charlie. The princess had made all the tournament events so much fun that nobody needed the trophy anymore. The crowd cheered for the princess. Hip hip hooray. <laughs>